In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to add explosions in Blender. Let's get straight into the video. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a method called VDB importing. So to get our VDB files, we're going to go to JengaFX.com. I'm going to link this website in the description. So all you have to do is scroll down a little, find something you like. I'm going to use this aerial explosion. I'll see you guys when this is downloaded. All right, everyone, we're in a brand new Blender file. So I'm going to delete all this crap by pressing A, X and delete. Now we're going to press shift A, find volume and press import open VDB. Now we're going to press the first one, then scroll all the way down, hold shift and press the other one. Now we're going to press import open VDB volume. Okay, so the explosion is imported. I'm going to bring it up a little and we're going to click on this and drag it up. Now we're going to hold on this blue line and drag it up. Something like this looks good to me. So I'm going to drag this back down and we're going to find this green cloud, which is our volume properties. And we're going to find flames. This is how we're going to add fire to our explosion. But we're going to stay on density for now. I'm going to press our render properties and change the cycles. Let's go to rendered view so we can check this out. So we have the smoke part of our explosion, but we still don't have any fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up, press this clock and change it to shader editor. Now we're going to make a new texture. And this is our principled volume where we can edit our explosion. I'm just going to name this explosion and we're going to press back on this cloud and look for the name. So here it's flames. So temperature A, we're going to put flames. Now I'm going to put the temperature up to something like 6000 and I'm going to drag the black body intensity up to. Now we're going to go back to our timeline and redrag this. This is going to lag your computer a little because this is heavy, but I'm going to go back into our shader editor and change the black body tint to a more orange color. Now I might bring the density down a bit so we can see more of the fire. And that's it. That's how you add an easy explosion in Blender. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for today. Like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer everyone's questions. Let me know any other tutorials you guys want to see in the future. Peace.